Hey everyone, in this video, we're going to be going through the filter function in Microsoft Excel. The filter function is a great way to extract information from a dataset without needing to interact with the dataset itself. And with that said, let's get into the video. In this example, we have a table called employee that lists all of the employees in a given company. What we want to do with this information is complete the list of objectives here using the filter function. So let's get started with our first objective, which is to filter for all employees in the technology department. So in this cell here, let's type in the filter function and go through its arguments. The array argument is the cell range that we want to filter. So in this case, it's going to be our employee table. The include argument is where we state the criteria that we want to filter the cell range by. So if we want to filter for all employees in the technology department, we need to do a check in the department column itself to see if any of the values are equal to the word technology. So let's press enter. And now we get a list of all the employees in the technology department returned to us. Now let's go back into our filter function to see exactly what's going on. So going into our filter function, I'm just gonna highlight the include argument here. And what we see are a series of trues and falses shown to us. These trues and falses correspond to the check done on each row to see if the value in it equaled the word technology. So the first and second value in the column did not equal the word technology, so that returned false to us and was not included. But the third value in the column did equal technology and was therefore included. So we can see here that when the result is true, the row gets included. Let's move on to our next objective, which is to filter for all the employees in the finance department. So this is going to be very similar to our previous objective, with the only difference being we're checking to see if the value in the department column says finance rather than technology. So let's press enter. And now we get the list of employees in the finance department shown to us instead. The next objective is where things get interesting as we'll be using two criteria to filter our list of employees. Because we want to filter for all employees in the finance department and have seven or more years of service, Let's tackle this in steps. So let's first clear out this filter function. And in this column here, I'm just going to do a check to see if any of the values in the department column are equal to the word finance. And with this, we get an array of trues and falses shown to us. Now let's do this again for years of service by highlighting the years of service column and then checking to see if any of the values are greater than or equal to seven. And now we get another array of trues and falses shown to us. Now when we want to use and logic in the filter function, we need to multiply our criteria together. Let me show you what I mean. So in this column here, I'm just going to type the equal sign and then select this array of trues and falses and multiply them by this array of trues and falses. And with that, we get a final array of zeros and ones shown to us. And it's okay that we see zeros and ones shown to us because in reality, false values can be represented by the number zero and true values can be represented by the number one or any non-zero number in fact. So with that in mind, we know that the filter function is going to only include rows where the include argument results in the word true or any non-zero number. So let's go ahead and use the filter function for real by clearing this out. And in this cell here, we're gonna type in the filter function and we're going to be filtering our employee table. And in the include argument, I'm going to type one set of brackets where we check to see if the value in the department column is equal to the word finance. Then we'll close that off. And then we're gonna multiply that by another set of brackets where we'll check to see if the value in the years of service column is greater than or equal to seven. So let's close that off and close off the filter function. Then press enter. And now we get the list of employees shown. And what we see here is exactly what we expect, which is employees in the finance department that have seven or more years of experience. Now for our next objective, which is to filter for all employees in the finance or sales department. So here is where we're gonna be using or logic rather than and logic. And because of that, let's tackle this in steps similar to our previous objective. So let's clear out the filter function here. And what I'll do in this column is check to see if any of the values in the department column equal the word finance. And that should return to us a series of trues and falses. And then in this column, I'm gonna do that same check in the same column 
but we're going to check to see if any of the values are equal to the word sales. And that gives us another array of trues and falses. Now when we want to use or logic in the filter function, we actually need to add the criteria together. Let me show you what I mean. So in this cell here, we're going to type equals, select this array of trues and falses, and then add the other array of trues and falses to it. So pressing enter, we get a final set of zeros and ones. And what we can see here is that if true appears in any of the arrays, the final result returns true and is therefore going to be kept in our filter function. So let's go ahead and clear this and use the filter function for real. So in this cell here, let's type in filter. Our array is going to be our employee table. And in the include argument, I'm going to make one set of brackets here to check to see if the value in the department column is equal to finance. And then we'll use the plus symbol and add another set of criteria here to check to see if the department column contains the word sales. Close that off, close that off, press enter. And now we get our final list. And we know it worked because we can only see the finance and sales departments shown. Now for our final objective, which is to filter for all employees that are managers. Now looking at our employee table, we can see that there's many types of managers. There's a finance manager, an operations manager, a marketing manager, but we want to be able to show them all. Let's see what happens when we try to filter for the word manager in the job title. So in this cell here, we'll type in our filter function. So we're going to filter our employee table. And in the include argument, we're going to select the job title and see if it equals the word manager. And we get an error returned to us, and that's because none of the values in the job title column say the word manager by itself. So let's delete the filter function here and tackle this in steps. So in this cell here, we'll use the search function, and the search function has two mandatory arguments, the first one being find text. So in this argument, we'll type in the word manager, and in the within argument, this is going to be the column job title all the values in it actually. So let's press enter. And here we get a bunch of errors as well as numbers. Now the reason why we're getting a lot of errors is because the word manager just doesn't exist in the job title. But when it does exist in the job title, we get a number returned to us. We're not too concerned about the number itself, but the fact that there is a number is what we're looking for. Now with that said, let's go back up to our search function and wrap it with a function called isNumber. So let's close that off. And look at that. We get an array of trues and falses returned to us. And now we have something that we're very familiar with when using the filter function. So let's go ahead and use the filter function for real. But first, I'm going to copy this function here. And then we'll delete it. And let's enter in our filter function. So we're going to filter our table employee. And in the include argument, we'll paste in our criteria like this, then close that off, and then press enter. And now we get all of our managers returned to us regardless of what department that they work in. And that's how you use the filter function in Microsoft Excel. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll see you all in the next video.